In this video, we're going to look at saving the data collected in a feedback form automatically in a Google Sheet. Each entry will be added in a new row. First thing that we need to do is connect to Google to allow that to take place. We head over to Modules, scroll down to the Google integration, Google Sheets, activate, and then head over to the settings so we can create that authentication. The Google Sheets settings here and are also found over here in the settings tab. We're on the page. What we first need to do is get the Google Sheet access code. So we head over to Google to make that possible. Select the Google account that you'd like to use. I do get this message. It might be because I've connected and disconnected earlier. You then give Google permission to access the spreadsheets. Once you're done and you allow Google to make that connection, you'll have access to the secure code. This is where we authenticate that we have the correct access code. We paste it in. We click on verify code and we've now connected the Google Sheets account to Fluent Forms, but we haven't connected to a specific spreadsheet. In order to do that, what we need to do is head over to All Forms, select the feedback form that we'd like to use, go to Settings, and then scroll down to Marketing and CRM Integrations. On this page, we'll add a new integration, and in this case, it's the Google Sheet. Here we can put in our feed name so we'll call it feed feedback form we now have to enter the spreadsheet id the google sheet will be found in the google drive we have a folder here called fluent forms i'm going to now create a new sheet right we have the new sheet and i'm going to give that a name and i'm going to call that Feedback form. We need to get the ID of the form, and the unique ID will be this long number here in the URL. We copy that, we go back to our form, and we paste that in that field. We then ask for the worksheet name. So this is the sheet name at the bottom. So in this case, it's called sheet one. We could make that any name we wanted in this case i'm just going to copy that and i'm going to paste it in so it's very important that the uh, that the the sheet name and the spreadsheet id are correct in order for the form to work now we're going to add in the fields that we'd like to include in that form when we click here on the right hand side we can see the different fields that are available in the form. So the first one we could go with is first name. I like to work from the list on the right hand side so that I include all the fields from that form. Easier to go down the list like this than it is to try and remember what they are on the left hand side. Let's have a look. Make selection. Selection, subject, and the last one, your message. Right, now that we've, can, we've selected the fields that we'd like to save, we can now create the Google feed. If everything's correct, it is now created. Right, it was successful. If we'd like to have a look and see how successful it actually is, we can go along to our feedback form and you'll see it has already populated the names of each of the fields as we've mapped them. Now what we can do is go and have a look and test. Along to preview and design. We can go straight to the preview only. Enter our details. Let's make choice number two. Subject will be test and a message. Let's go test 
message and let's let's uh, just to show you how that works i'm just going to make that a little bit longer to simulate a message we're happy with that we submit the form dear bruce thank you for submitting the form i go and have a look at my form there you can see my message and there you can see the longer message there so here we have successfully connected the form to a document within google sheets there are some other settings that we can have a look at so when we look at the settings here one of them that is available that we didn't look at were the conditional logic options and here once again we can decide when or when not to save the form in our drive that would mean we might say that make selection and if make selection is equal to choice number let's say choice number one it will save the form we'll head on over now back to our form just wait for that to save taking a little longer than expected in the meantime what we can do is go back to edit fields just to reset that go back to preview design not sure why that's not saving right i'm going to refresh that page going to edit again enable conditional logic select make selection equal to choice number one and then update the google sheets feed integration is successful we can go back to preview the form now we said only if choice number one so in this case i'm first going to go to choice number three and I'm going to submit the form. Then I'm going to refresh that. And then I'm going to go back to preview and this time I'm going to make a choice number one and I'm going to submit the form. We go and have a look at our drive and you'll see that our choice number three that was the initial choice number two choice number three doesn't show and only choice number one shows so within a form we can decide which entries to save in a specific form right so that was the integration if we'd like to add another integration we could add another google sheet connect in the same way so let's do that let's go and create a second sheet and i'm going to call that sheet two sheet two once again be careful to get the id which is this long one over here and then i'm going to go back to my sheet i'm going to say option four so this will only save option four entries and then the worksheet name i'm going to go back to my sheet here i'm going to rename in this case i'm going to call it first sheet i'm going to copy that right that's setting is set i'm going to put in the sheet name in this case we're just going to go with first name last name And make selection so this will be first name last name and this will be selection so you'll also note that the, the labels that I put in this field these field labels 
are the labels that are going to appear in my Google Sheet. That should be fine. What we're going to do now is say that the make selection is equal to choice number four, and we'll create that Google feed. That was successful. So now we have two Google feeds in the same, two Google connections in the same form, which means if I go back to the preview form and I say preview only, and I select choice number four, and I submit the form, there we have choice number four appears in that form, but not in that form. It does then mean that if we have different departments and the inquiry needs to go to different divisions within a company or different people, we can set it up in such a way that each person would get a different sheet, uh, different entries, and only see the entries that are valid for them. And that wraps up this video. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.